Welcome, my name is JJ Morris and this is my slideshow presentation of the Hagia Sophia and some of its beautiful hidden mosaics. This building is over 1400 years old and has survived reigns from Christian, Catholic and Islamic rule and several earthquakes in the region. As you can see it's a beautiful piece of architecture, structure. Here is the main hall or the nave also called the Great Hall. On the left and right, you can see the medallions and they're actually Islamic calligraphy that have covered other Christian um, artifacts. This is the, the main dome and it actually stands about 180 feet high and it's covered with Islamic calligraphy and underneath it is actually a mosaic of Jesus Christ. Um, there's still a debate on whether they should uncover it or not. Here's an urn in the entries on the east and west side, and it was thought to uh, contain oils from the Roman times for rituals. Uh, this photo shows a seraph and on the pendentives, which looked like before the res restoration of the star being removed from its face. Um, you can see a significant difference between the two. Here it is with the star actually removed. Um, so you can see the quality in it after it's been cleaned. Uh, this mosaic and again they sit, on, they sit on the pendentives which are the structures that support the domes and here's a close-up view of this wonderful piece of mosaic history inside of the church here we have the what's called the imperial gate mosaic it's located above the main gate in the tympanum it was used by emperors only to enter the Hagia Sophia and it was dated around 9th or 10th century it shows Christ the Pantocrator and possibly Leo the sixth or fifth Weiss or his son bowing to Christ in this wonderful mosaic. Here we have what's called the Comnenus mosaic. It's on the east wall of the south gallery and it dates to about 1122. It shows the Virgin Mary with Christ in her lap blessing the Emperor Comnenus and his Empress. This is another uh, mosaic of the Archangel Gabriel on the south side, Bema Apps. It's dated around the 9th century and it's, you can see it's partially uncovered still. This is a un um, completely uncovered mosaic of Alexios Komnenos on the eastern wall of the south gallery. Uh, it also dates to about 1122 in its time. This is called the Empress Zoe mosaic. It's from the 11th century and it's found on the east wall of the south gallery also. Uh, it was Christ as an adult blessing the Empress Zoe and the Emperor Constantine. Here is the Southwest Entrance Mosaic. This mosaic was rediscovered by the Vasadi brothers in 1849 and it dates from about 958 to 1025 AD. Here we have a faint trace of St. John the Baptist mosaic below one of the smaller domes. You can barely see the outline of his figure and just below him is possibly the wife of his, his wife Helena, Kantakoazin, um, both on each side. So it's a faint image. See the outline of it. This photo shows a very faint image of where John the fifth mosaic was on the eastern arch of the Hagia Sophia. If you look at the bottom underneath the wire, you actually see the outline of his head like a ghostly figure. This is a partial and covered mosaic of Christ being baptized and it dates around the 11th century uh, AD. And it's partially covered in plaster. Here's part of the partially uncovered mosaic of Christ, John the Baptist, and the Virgin Mary. Uh, and it dates about 1261. It's in the south enclosure. It's actually called the Desis Mosaic. This is a sketch done by Fasadi of the mosaic of John V, just to the north side of the Great Eastern Arch. Uh, this is when they uncovered it and recorded it and then recovered it. Uh, these are arches above the Great Hall. Uh, as seen, they're partially uncovered. Um, you can see the emblem on the left. The other two have been uncovered uh, and they're bishops. And this photo shows a significant difference of how amazing the mosaics are and architecture can look before and after uh, they've been discovered, restored, and brought back to life. 